so far the trinomials that we've tried to factor have been factorable. But that's not true of all trinomials. Some of them are not factorable and we call those prime. In order to determine which ones are factorable and which ones not, we have what's called the prime test. Now the prime test uses a piece of the quadratic formula, which we'll cover much later in the year. And that part is called the discriminant. Now the discriminant is made up from parts of the quadratic formula. Now we know that a standard quadratic is ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are constants, and a is not equal to 0 at any time in order to maintain the quadratic form, the quadratic form over there. So the discriminant uses those parts. The discriminant is calculated by taking the b term and squaring it, subtracting 4 times a times c. Now, let's take Let's see what kind of values we get with a discriminant. Let's take one that we know is factorable. Let's take x squared plus 2x minus 8. Now you might see from this, because we've done enough factoring at this point, that factors of 8 that have a difference of 2 or 4 and 2, so it is factorable. But let's see what kind of value we get with the discriminant. So I get a is equal to 1. I get b is equal to 2 and I get c is equal to negative 8. Don't forget that negative. It's real important. So the discriminant in this case is equal to 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 8. Discriminant equals then 4. I get two negatives, so I get plus 32. So the discriminant is equal to 36. But well, we should notice that that's a square, because it really is 6 squared. And that's the key. If the discriminant is a square, a perfect square, then we know that the trinomial is factorable. And that's our test, that if the discriminant is a perfect square. Let's get the word square on there. Okay, now. Let's take a couple examples where we don't have uh, terms that are factorable. Oops, let's just move the screen. Okay, so let's take x squared plus 2x plus 8. Now we know that factors of 8 don't add up to 2. We should already know that this is prime, but let's prove it. So again, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, in this case, c is equal to positive 8. So my discriminant equals 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 8. So the discriminant is 4 minus 32, which is negative 28. Well, a negative cannot be a square, because any number times itself can't get me a negative. So I know that, that the trinomial we're dealing with here is prime, because the discriminant is not a square. One last example. Let's take 2x squared minus 8x plus 5. Again, the variable can, doesn't have to be x, it can be any letter. So in this case, I get a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 8, c is equal to 5. So I take my discriminant, I have negative 8 squared. See, this is why I've been putting the parentheses around it. So I guarantee I'm, I'm squaring the negative, because that's always going to be a positive term. Then I get minus 4 times 2 times 5. So my discriminant here is going to be a positive 64 minus 40. So the discriminant equals 24. Now, unlike the other one up here, this one is negative. This one is a positive, but 24 is not a square. So once again, that point trinomial is prime. So we take the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac, and when I calculate it out, if the discriminant is a perfect square, then it's factorable. If it's not a perfect square, then it's prime.